All right, so you've probably heard by now that IK Multimedia, the maker of the Tonex pedal, has just released the Tonex One. Look at these beauties. Isn't that amazing? All the beautifulness of Tonex in a very small, very affordable enclosure. But there might be some things about the Tonex One that you are unaware of, like it comes with a headphone out and it's not a separate headphone out. The out jack, if you put your headphone in it, it becomes headphone out. So quiet playing right here in this little pedal, your amp, run any effects into it that you want, headphone. How cool is that? The second thing that this has is a built-in tuner. If you are plugged in and playing, you can hold this and it goes to tuning mode. And if I were plugged in, I could tune and it lets you know through via these three uh, knobs that light up well, which direction you need to tune, whether you're low or high. How cool is that? The third thing that you may have known because this is just like the bigger Tonex is that you can export and import a library, which is really convenient when you have two units because I like to make both units exactly the same. That way I could just call up a preset and I'm not lost and I can just pull up the same amp and just have stereo amps. It's also really cool that they have this little thing you can put in there so crud doesn't get in the way. Let me show you how to export your library just in case you don't know. So right here I have my library, I have my 20 presets right here. If I liked this order and I wanted this to match my other one, I would just come up here to this wheel and say export library, wait for it to finish, then plug in my other Tonex one and then import the library, which is what I've done. And now both of these are exactly the same. That's also a tip for the larger Tonex as well. And I didn't know that until I got these little ones. Now, while we're here in the Tonex librarian, let me tell you that you can also customize the colors of these little micro knobs as they call them. And so right now I'm on this preset. If I were to hit this, you can see I went to red, but I could change this from like yellow to let's say green. It immediately updated on the pedal. So what this does is it, it can make it easy to recall what you're trying to pull up. So green, maybe you've captured a, uh, maybe you've captured an amp and you want it to be uh, an orange amp. Maybe it's a capture of an orange amp. And then you have a capture of an orange amp being pushed by a tube screamer. You could stomp over to that and recall what you have. So the, it's, it's infinite, it's customizable. You can use it any way you want. It's pretty cool that you can do that. Now, I just alluded to this, but in case it's unclear, you can load into this any effect or amp that is drive based, meaning you can't load reverbs or delays or modulation into this, but you can load amps, amps cabs, uh, overdrive, fuzzes, it can be just a pedal. So you could have two of them and one of them be your amp and the other one be a pedal or maybe a fuzz that you can turn on and off. What's cool about that is, is you can load in anything that you own that you can capture. If you have your favorite pedals or you can purchase uh, captures from people that have expensive gear that me and you may not be able to get a hold of and uh, put them in there and then we have access to them. Awesome. All right, what else may you not know? Well, I've kind of shown it already, but there are two different modes. There is toggle mode, or what they'll call dual preset mode, which is what we have here, which I'm on a preset, and then I can switch to another preset. That would be helpful, let's say, if I had a clean capture of an amp, and then I had the same capture that was overdriven a bit, or maybe a pedal going into it. I could have two different, so clean, overdrive. But if we hold Alt for six seconds, not three seconds, but six seconds, keep holding, we enter global setup, and if we turn the bass knob, this bass micro knob, all the way clockwise, then we are just in whatever amp or setting or pedal we are on, we can just turn that on or off. So if you had two of these and you want to set them up two different ways, that's how you do that. I'm gonna put it back real quick. I'm gonna hold this for six seconds. Six seconds, and turn the bass knob fully counterclockwise and now I'm back to toggle mode. Another thing, and this is very important both for the Tonex One and the regular Tonex pedal, and that is being able to access quickly your trim input. The reason this is important is because the signal coming in from your guitar has a lot to do with how the amp capture is going to respond. I noticed that when I downloaded a lot of captures, some of them said, hey, the input trim needs to be on 8.5 or whatever. It goes up to like 15. 
it can go down to like negative 15. And I noticed on some of my guitars, like uh, my Revolta, I needed to put the input trim down to like negative 2.5, sometimes zero. Then when I have a really clean pickup guitar, like uh, my Telecaster, I could bump it up a little higher to get things sounding right. So how to how do we access that? Well, Alt button again for six seconds. We will wait for it to get there. And then the same thing is true. Now I don't have anything plugged in, so it just went dark, but you can adjust this um, treble knob to set the input trim based on whatever your guitar needs. Another thing me and my friend, uh, Zach, Zach Bropes, go subscribe to his channel. We were talking about um, when you're trying to adjust for volumes, you have this main volume knob. Now you can hold alt and get to gain, but let's just say we're regular, we're doing volume. This volume still seemed to mess with or adjust your tone. It wasn't just clean, pure volume. Like at lower volumes, the amp just didn't respond the same. And then when you cranked it, it responded a little better. So there is access again to global settings, holding this for six seconds, you can get to um, once you're in that mode again, so let's wait until we get there. Then you can turn this and affect the master or the, the global volume that won't affect your tone. Very important. Then one last thing I'll leave you with, there's something they've come up with called safe mode. So say you get your Tone X1 just how you like it and you don't want to accidentally touch these little knobs. Um, you can hold this for three seconds. We've seen this before where it flashes three seconds, you let go, now it's in safe mode and it won't, uh, nothing you do to the knobs will mess with your tone. And then you hold it for three seconds again and it slowly blinks back to safety. All right, that's it. If you like this video, share it with someone you think would be helpful. Let me know down in the comments, is this something you're gonna grab? Do you think this is gonna change uh, the landscape of modeling? I think it sure will. Just the fact that we have access to all of this high quality stuff for such a low price, a low entry point, I think this is going to invite a lot of people into the world of modeling and I am all for it. I'm excited. All right. Thank you very much. If you want to support the channel, the captures I use the most lately, I love them from Alter Ampworks. If you want to download some sounds from them, use my link and put in the code HeyWorshipLeader for 20% off. I appreciate it. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye.